All right, let's do this fellow entrepreneur. Welcome to the channel. I want to show you how exactly to use the buy button app in Shopify. So we are just on a trial store right now and I want to show you exactly how to use this buy button app because I actually found it a little confusing at first. I have multiple Shopify stores that I've been running for almost a decade now, but I remember when I first started using the buy button, I don't use it on all my stores, but it was very complicated and I didn't really understand what it was used for. However, the buy button is a free app that you can use and I'll show you how to do this. So what we want to do is from our admin, we can type in buy button. The buy button app is a Shopify made and developed app. And once we are on the store, we can see the buy button app right here in the middle. It is free, it is made and developed by Shopify. If you want to know the difference between a made and develop app by Shopify or using a third party app, you can view this video on the top right here. For now, if we click the buy button channel, we can see that the developer is Shopify and we can see that the, that the plan is free. There's no pricing information because the, the, the price is free. All Shopify made and develop apps are free except for one. So just be careful when you're downloading apps so you don't get charged. So what we can do is we can install this app. And once we have it installed, we will see the buy button channel on the left here, the buy button app symbol here, and then we can create a buy button. So what this app does is it creates code for you to input on any page, any website, anything you want, and creates a sales channel directly to a collection or a product. Now in today's day and age in e-commerce, you really don't need to know much about code at all, but this is a great way no matter what your site is or your page is, you can even use this to create code for a website other than Shopify. So what we can do is we can create a buy button and then what this does is it creates a product buy button or a collection buy button. This doesn't mean this is used to buy on your product page or your collection page, but it creates a link, a button, a buy button buy that links to a collection page or a specific product and it gives you that code to input in your HTML editor to create that link. So for example, we're just gonna go make a product buy button, we have a few example products here and we can use one for this t-shirt. Notice, because it's creating code for a specific thing, you can only do one at a time. So in this case, if we wanna create code for our example t-shirt, we can select that one, hit next. And on the next page, this is what the code will create. It's actually a lot of complex coding to create something like this, but this is again, just used to create a sales channel, which you can put in any page. You can view what this will look like maybe on a mobile view or a desktop view or an ultra wide view. You can select if you want this buy button to go to a specific variant. Here are some variants that we have. We can also choose from a basic look, a classic look, or a full view look, depending on where you're putting it. That can be very handy, which also displays a carousel of all your images. And then you can also change what the call to action button says. In this case, it says add to product, or you can select them to direct to checkout, which is more by now. You can change the button style, the button corners, the button width, you can change the button text. You can change all kinds of things. You can change the typography, which is the font, and you can also change the size of the buy button. That's the buy button style. Now, once you're happy with the setup of your buy button, you can then click next in the top right corner here. We will go next. And this is a three-step process as you can see, and this is the code that it is created for you. Click copy code, then paste it into the HTML editor of the web page where you want to display it. So there's really endless pages that you can display this on. Just make sure it works well for the brand. You can put your buy button on WordPress, on Squarespace, on Wix, because this is code that you put into the HTML editor of the page. So what we can do now is we can click copy code, and that is copy the code to the clipboard. Now, if we go back to our online store, I want to add this, for example, into a blog post. So if we go to our online store and we click blog posts and we select our blog post here that we just created really quickly, the HTML editor on Shopify is this button right here. This is found everywhere. This is found anywhere there is content. So your product description will have this, your collection description will have this. What this does is it shows you the code that is needed to create this content. So we are inputting new HTML code into this content. Right now, if we view the page, this is what the view, this is what the blog page looks blog page looks like and we want to input this code into this page. So because our code is copied, we can now switch to HTML view and we can input this anywhere you'd like. We paste it into our HTML editor. We can now see 
that this is the code here to create the content of the blog. In this case, it was more of an FAQ style. And then if we scroll down this page a little bit more, we can see this is the code that the app created for us that we copied. See this? This goes here. So now if we save the page, we refresh the page and we go view our page, we can now see, because we pasted it at the bottom of the blog, we can see our buy button channel right here at the bottom of the blog. So this should get your brainstorming ideas flowing because you can effortlessly pair a link, not only a HTML link to a product like this that might not be clicked, but you can create a channel directly into the blog, into any page where somebody can go directly to the page. They can see the product, they can view the carousel, they can see the variant, they can see the on sale price. And then if they click this, it will go directly to checkout and you can increase your conversions very effortlessly just like that. It's relatively easy. It's a free app and it works very well. You can design the colors and you can match the typography to match your brand and any way you like. But the idea is to get more eyes on a product, make it easier for your customers co to convert and one great way of doing that is using the My Store button and inputting the HTML code into the page that you'd like and get more sales for your store. I hope this helps. I know how you feel when I first started my online business journey. I wanted to use this app for a long time and it was actually very confusing for me. So don't feel overwhelmed if you want to use this app and you can't get it to work. Just take it one step at a time. Maybe just watch the video again. And if you have any questions or comments, of course, leave them in the comment box down below. But that's it. Great job. You've completed this tutorial and you can call today a productive, successful day. If you like Shopify tutorials like this, check out my channel for more. If you wanna see how I made this blog in under a minute, you can check out my channel for that video. But if you want to join a community of like-minded entrepreneurs so we can all grow our small business dreams together and take the loneliness out of e-commerce, consider subscribing. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.